Hey, what's up guys? Sean back with another My 600 Pound Life video. And this was the next most requested one, Penny. It's kind of a shorter one. It's not like an hour and a half like the other one, or the other ones. But at this point, I'm kind of convinced that you guys just want to traumatize me and make me remember exactly what it was like when I was this weight two years ago. But I'm here for it. It kind of is a good thing at the same time. It makes me remember what I never want to go back to. Every time I had a problem, it's a pound, two pounds, five pounds, and I just kept going. I let food be the way that I found solace. Sometimes it feels like I'm dead. Well, if you fry every single thing you eat, and that looked like a friggin' breakfast, french fries and what, chicken nuggets? you're probably going to put on five pounds a day. I don't, if she's eating like that all the time, you know? So. Like that I'm not alive? If I could do it without the surgery, I would have done it. My way doesn't work. And this is it. Is it really that freaking low? I hope to God not. I don't want to put back on any of that weight. But then again, I'm not going to let myself do it either dynamic that we need to change now. I'm done with this! I, I quit! I'm done! Jesus. Oh, it hurts. Are you in the house? I can't be the reason you lose weight or the reason you gain weight. Period. I don't think it's work, I promise. Damn. I feel that the scales were wrong in the beginning. You gain weight since... Look, Men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. You know what your big ass ain't. Come on, let's just keep it a buck. Ain't nobody trying to make any excuses for you. I don't know what else to do. Wait, she gained after surgery? How the hell do you do that? There comes a time when you've made yourself a prisoner. Once you understand that, you have to do everything you can to break free. Why is she on the damn show? She's cheating. She's 70 pounds too light for this friggin' bracket here. We're talking only 600 pounders. I was 605. My big fuck been on the show. Honey! Yay! Yeah. She's in friggin' Maryland. I could go see this lady right now. We need an update. <laughs> you go, gotta pee. Then food. When you become as heavy as I have, it's hard. It's real hard. Man. Sometimes it feels like I'm dead. I cannot do the things that normal people take for granted. Like, what? Oh my God, she's molding to the bed. That's crazy. And then they got to friggin' like nuke out the coochie. That is the craziest looking valley. That's Death Valley for sure right there. Whew. Things don't come back from there. Walking to the bathroom. <gasps> This is my bed. This is my bathroom. This is my dinner table. I don't feel good. I might as well be a prisoner in jail. Oh, yeah, and you need mozzarella sticks so you can have an extra good bed bathroom. What the hell, lady? Come on. Mm, it's going to be good. Food addiction has become my life. Hey, All Ab, addictions I need a paper do. towel. I started out just like anyone else, and every time I had a problem, it's a pound, two pounds, five pounds, and I just kept going. Even as early as second and third grade, I knew I was heavier. And I remember, like, fourth grade, I started having to wear plus sizes. I hated that really bad. Oh, yeah. I think I was, like, a 2, 3X by the time I hit, like, sixth grade. Two Xs were tight, but I was probably, like, 130 pounds at nine years old. And the size of pretty much a grown man. So, yeah, I know exactly what she's talking about. Just gaining 20 pounds a year. I ended up being close to 300 by the time I was 22 or so. My weight. You got to step your game up, sweetheart. I was probably 350 at like 15. Weight is very near 600 at this time. Oh, my goodness. I let food be the way that I found solitude 
my world has closed in around me. Liam. Wait a second. Head up, you know you can't do down. They've got a kid? That means they're definitely playing Stinky Twinkie. And I'm trying to figure out the logistics behind this. But at this point, the only thing I'm working with is dude's got a friggin' hammer. He slide in there spooning or something. I'm gonna call him Ding Dong Daddy for the rest of this video. So Ding Dong Daddy had a kid with her. Cause you know where your calic is. I help take care of my son, but it's here. If he refused to come into my bubble, then I wouldn't be able to help him. Come on. I love you, Nugget. Love you. Damn. She even calls the kid food names. He's Nugget. You can go get him. Okay. Her weight has affected us in many ways. I have to go to all school functions. He's in Taekwondo. And she never actually seen him. I've had to videotape his classes for her. She's a great mom, but you just can't be a good mom when you're in bed. Liam loves her so much, and I thought having him would change everything, but it hasn't. It's gotten worse. Uh, it's kind of sad, but she's addicted to food. I guess it, that switch has to flip in your head, and for me, it didn't even flip for a long time. Like, I was in the program. I was one foot in, one foot out. I lost the weight, regained it. It got canceled. I did I would have been epic on this friggin' TV show. Y'all would have loved to hate me. Some of it's her fault, some of it is, and I think a lot of it has to do with what she was exposed to with my dad. My dad was very abusive to my mom and to us some. The abuse was something that no kid should, no kid should have to, to have to watch your mom. I didn't know the Hanson brothers had another member. Holy fuck. Beaten. It wasn't every day, but it was every time he drank. Penny probably experienced a lot more of it than we did because she was the oldest. She had to bear the brunt of a lot of what we had to go through. Man, all you women had that hairstyle back in the day. I think my mom even had that hairstyle. It's not always her fault. The eating, yeah, it is now, but all this stuff in the history. She had nobody to tell her it's going to be OK. Hey, it's a Penny burrito. It seems like it's gotten worse and worse through the years. When we first started dating, she was about 450 pounds. I didn't have a problem with her weight. You know, we were able to go places. I met her at a restaurant, standing in line at the bar. Oh yeah, I met her at a restaurant, shocker. But look at Ding Dong Daddy here. That man's seen some sh literally. He's been to the trenches and came back. Or, <laughs> and talking to her. We talked for like two or three hours, and then we agreed to meet and go on a date. Four months later, we bought our house together, and we got married. Oh, shit. After she had gotten pregnant, her weight went up to, I believe it was 630. After she oh, had shit. Liam, she had a hard time taking the weight off. How the hell did she even get pregnant at that size? It's my understanding that it's harder. Like, everything I read said that I ain't had kids yet because basically my thigh meat nuked my nuts and killed my swimmers. So I had to lose weight so my nuts weren't so hot. That's what I read. Don't come for the messenger. That's just what I think. It has affected our relationship extremely. Oh. It's been many years now since we've actually slept in the same bed. Oh, right there is right so Right now, I'm her full-time caregiver, so I can't go out and earn money. We're just living on her disability. We need all three cereals. We're all out. That's right. How the hell are you even managing that? Maryland's expensive as fuck. You can't get a decent two-bedroom for 1600 bucks in Maryland. Like, it's crazy. Fuck. Expensive here. Food and chocolate. And it is difficult to think that I could lose her. Look, buddy, you're in control of the friggin' grocery cart. You don't need to get her the friggin' fudge stuff, double devil. You don't need to do it. Penny usually gives me a list for grocery shopping for the house. Chips, soda, cake mix, candy. It's usually junk. Oh, The list right. is done, but I know she likes ice cream. I'd love... How in the hell do you need, like... 
15 things of ice cream, chips. You got four box cakes. This, I'm assuming this is for a week. This woman's tearing Betty Crocker the F up. It's Penny, hell. but Penny is very stubborn and Ed does enable her. He buys whatever she tells him. And if he doesn't, he's gonna be in trouble. Ed definitely does bring the food in to the house, but I also believe that he doesn't have much choice. We do eat properly. What the, what friggin' planet are you on, buddy? Skittles for friggin' lunch is not properly eating. I'm surprised the little kid's not a hell of a lot heavier, because if you gave me them options, I might have friggin' doubled that 350 mark at 15. Uh, I might have had them. Sometimes. So you don't know whether to be mean and make her work harder, or just love her until she dies. <laughs> We're gonna bury her, and Liam's gonna walk beside her casket. Okay, first off, I wasn't just laughing at the fact that she's gonna die. I was laughing at the dog waiting for scraps, so don't friggin' say I'm heartless. Some people think I'm so heartless when I watch these, but I know what it friggin' feels like. She's 100% gonna friggin' die. I was gonna friggin' die. That's just how it works at that size. He's gonna watch his mommy be put in the ground, probably before he's 10 years old. Do you like us or do you like daddy? <laughs> Which one do you want? Look at Chrissy's teeth. I know I need to change because he deserves full-time mom. He does. That would help. We're packing up to go to Texas. It's like the last minute. We have to be in the vehicles in like no time. I'm going. Damn, they move fast early on in this show. Before, Doctor Now had to see him a few times. Now, I guess early on, they just brought him the hell down. That's crazy considering all the checklists I had to do. I probably went to a hundred freaking doctor appointments just to get approved. A pandemic hit in the middle. I had to get all those freaking like authorizations again. It was a pain in the ass. And I almost gave the hell up. I'll be in the back of a van, actually on my hospital mattress. This physician is the first one that's willing to really see me and take the risk at my weight to do the surgery. Up with mommy. Once she's in the van, she's not going to be able to get out until she's at a hospital. So we can't really stop anywhere to, to sleep overnight or anything. What can we say besides goodbye? I don't know. See you later? Uh-oh. Here's our plan. She wants me to pull up to that and to come out and load her into that. Uh-oh, I want to see you cry sad eyes. Oh, what a sweet little kid, man. But hopefully she, you would think she would take it more serious for the kid. For Christ's sake, like, you're not able to be a good mom, all that stuff. It's just, it's hard to watch because, like, I want kids myself. That was, like, a big driving factor to losing weight. The fact that she has a child and still don't want to do it kind of pisses me off a little bit. After we get her out of her bed, I have to bring the mattress in and put in the van. Come on back. This is it, girl. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. That thing ain't nowhere near wide enough, but you can try. All right, okay. okay, I do. Just take your time. Oh got my it. lord. I think, I think I do. You got it, sister. <sighs> Did you guys see the piss stains on that mattress? That is gross. She was laying on that every friggin' day. We gotta do a little bit of measurement outside and we'll be way back in. Well, this is going out there. Oh. Yes. Should be pivoting straight down. You gotta pivot okay. to get feet. Oh, Oh man, this woman says she's got a friggin' snapper down there. Good lord, I didn't need to know all that. Yeah, I see my head. You got about maybe this much over here. All right. Here we go. 
This is not a journey of one person. This is a journey of a family, of a child who wants his mother. You are the one who will lay out this journey safely for all of us. And Heavenly Father, I thank you. Amen. Amen. Look, I'm all for it if you're religious, but at the same time, no one's coming to friggin' save you. You have to do it yourself. There's a reason my name's Sean Steele. It's the play on Superman. Do it yourself. You have to. No one's gonna do it for you. But if that helps you, fine. But from what I've already seen, it does it. You gotta switch that, or that flip that switch in your head, so. Um, this is it. This is her last chance. I don't give her five years at this point. Her health is just getting worse and worse. Ultimately, I think it comes down to if Penny chooses, if she's gonna live or die. I've cried at night about it sometimes. If she continues in this fashion, she could die. We need to do a quick pit stop. Premium chicken sandwich. Crispy or grilled? Crispy or grilled? Crispy. Grilled. Okay. Crispy. You just got done with your prayer. Like, oh, we're going to go save my life. And it's like, I need grease right now so I can friggin' hold back the demons. The food demons are after me. Like, what is she thinking? Holy sh**. Fucking Don Daddy here. This guy's been blue balled for five years and he still is so friggin' like just brainwashed by this chick. He'll buy her whatever the hell he can to kill her. Good lord, man. Come on. Be oh, I'm sorry. Make that crispy. I think that she's total denial. A little bit of lunch. We all needed it so bad. I'm just hoping that this will be the turning point. I just don't know if she's ever going to lose the weight. I love when they get to the fat boy Grim Reaper doctor now. Come on, let's get rolling here. This has to be the longest drive in history. We gambled with every resource my family has financially. We've had friends, families, neighbors, people donating to us. Honestly, if this is a fail, the failure is catastrophic. Damn. Look, you would think she's got every reason to be accountable, but at the same time, she's eating damn onion rings on her way down the road. I've seen this woman have onion rings four damn times since I started this episode, and we're 11 friggin' minutes in. This woman's an onion ring addict. That's what this is. Hey, how are you? I'm back in the garden. Hi. Are you glad you're here now? I have to tell you, doctor, when you and I spoke, you ended the call with, I'm going to help you. And that meant everything to me. Those words gave me the strength to come. We'll take care of you. You're going to be all right. I'm looking forward to start this process, because right now, when I look at a timeline for my future, it's short. Oh, God. I just have to be ready for everything head on. Penny is very large, but to know her situation. It's crazy to see Doctor now without his blinged out stethoscope. Like, he looks so much younger here. This has to be like 10 years old or something. But she's got to help herself. I, you're going to help me. Yes, he is. But it's a friggin' tool. It's not a magic trick. You don't just drop 300 pounds overnight. I need to examine her and see how much she weighs. We're gonna check your weight now, okay? They have a teeter totter for fat people? This is the largest fish in the market. Okay. I know my body mass index is about 20. 35 is morbidly obese. Over 40 is super morbidly obese. And here is uh, 85.7. Okay, so hers was about 12 more than what mine was, but I'm a lot taller than her. Like, I'm 6'4", so it it disperses a little differently between me and the largest fish in the market, as she just said. But she was lighter than me. Let me check a couple things on you. Okay. Okay, okay. that's good. 
Can you move your uh, feet for me? Well, the, yes and no. Look, I can tell you right now, she's in a lot of pain. I just saw a fentanyl patch on her stomach, so I know she's friggin' like feeling, not feeling that pain so much, but it's basically everything hurts at that size. But she's lighter at this point than I was at my surgery weight, which was 545. Can we turn the doctor to now? I'm on oxygen 24 hours a day. But if your oxygen saturation is better than mine, why do you need to have oxygen? I don't know the technical reason, but at 20 minutes, my fingers and lips get blue. Like right now, I'm starting to be very uncomfortable without the oxygen. Well, you should probably stop eating the friggin' blue cotton candy. That might help the situation. Just saying. Okay. We will turn it back on, okay? Yeah. Penny uh, got a lot of issues. Some of them are real, some of them are imaginary. She seems like she played a role of being a victim and encouraging family oh, to be in a- For sake, ding dong daddy, what are you doing? Bringing her soda after she's like, I'm on my deathbed. Quick, she needs friggin' sugar. You fucked. <sighs> And this dynamic is uh, very difficult to break. Uh -huh. We're gonna keep uh, Penny under observation in a strict diet. If she loses weight in one month, uh, surgery will be an option. A little sticky now. Being in hospital, okay. she should easily be able to lose 25 to 50 pounds. Nothing else has been successful. So getting this surgery now, it's the Hail Mary. I love you, baby. I love you, honey. Hi. Thank you. Yeah. Today's the day I fight. Just make sure you put that snicker in between your butt crack tonight. Mama's gonna be hungry. For this life. <laughs> I know that I have to still now change everything I've ever thought. That don't look like an onion ring, and she looks like she's pissed. I love when they get pissed at the new diet, man. Welcome to my world. I don't get to eat any good Bonk. anymore. What about eating? I'm starving to death. At this point, the only thing I have left to do is either lose weight or lose my life. I have nothing else. There's nothing else. If I don't take this route now, I won't see my son start middle school. There's no way that that's gonna happen. I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing because she looks like she's having friggin' sugar withdrawal. She's sitting there eating a sugar-free popsicle looking pissed at the world. But yes, you do need to change for your son. That should be your driving factor. Come on. Good morning. Hello. So, how are you feeling? I definitely can feel the. I definitely can feel the difference when I start losing weight. So I don't even have the roll that I normally punch my insulin into. <laughs> so you're missing your roll. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm missing a roll. Penny. You still got enough rolls to make a bakery, lady. Let's keep it real. I've lost almost 300 pounds. I still got enough damn rolls. But 40 pounds in a month's freaking good. But can she do that when she leaves the hospital is the question. Done very well. She lost uh, 40 pounds in heroin. She still has a lot of issues. But now uh, she's proven she can lose weight. She need to be able to walk. So the surgery is going to be next step. We're going to see how the thing will go with, with the first operation. All right, we'll see you later. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, if she's at 490, I mean, her muscles are probably atrophied, but she should be trying to walk. Look at this guy. He's trying to sneak a peek. He's wondering how many more pounds before I can get some friggin' action here. Ding dong daddy's been deprived. Get up here, give me some yums. Thank you so much. Some I know yums. with this surgery that I'm gambling with time now to get time later. But 
I have to do whatever it takes. What's mommy giving you when I come back? One of these, right? Yep. I love you now. I want Ed to be just my husband and no longer my caretaker. I want to be able to surprise my son and pick him up at school. Hope she'll be okay. She'll be okay, bud. You gotta think positive. That's why we pray. Big step for us. Everything's going to get better now. You get rest. See, from this point, it should be like physically impossible to gain weight. Because anything you eat or overeat, it'll make you throw up. Like, I could walk over to the toilet, just like burp, and it would come up. It's crazy how easy it was if you ate something that didn't agree with you. Can you rise? So do you have any plan to walk? No? Penny is unwilling to get up and walk around. I'm not sure why she doesn't want to do that. Are you sure you don't want to sit up or? If I can walk, there is true miracles in the world. <laughs> they'll make you walk. They say they want you up like, at least mine did. They wanted me up like six times a day or something. I immediately got up and dropped into a catcher stance and they like screamed at me because I'm a fall risk. But also the nurses were fighting over who got to be my nurse because I would just sit there and joke like hell with them all night. But she's got to walk or they won't let her go home. That's like having piano surgery on your hand. Doc, can I play piano now? Oh, I've done a great job. I'm sure you can play piano. That's great, because I couldn't be for surgery. If she doesn't get up and walk, she's not going to be able to maintain a weight loss. Do you want to sit up a little bit? I'm getting concerned about her. How are they affording all this sh Just her disability, though. That can't be that much money. And also, don't let fear of not being able to stop you from trying. I was guilty of that for the longest time. Like, there's a mountain I want to climb that I used to climb as a kid. I'm still scared to try it because I don't know if I can do it yet. But I think I need to just for myself. Well, this is Liam and I's room. It's only a one-bedroom. I get the bottom bunk. Obviously, can't sleep with Penny. But I know Liam can't wait for her to come home. That makes him happy. <laughs> this is the kitchen. This is what I like to drink. What dad likes to drink. Important for mom. I think it's gonna be hard for mommy to quit all the fast food. I mean, look at that. This kid's eating like junk too. He's just lucky his metabolism's still kicking. <laughs> but he's definitely gonna have weight issues if he keeps eating friggin' What are they toasted? The, the knockoff Walmart Pop-Tarts is what he's got. And they actually don't taste that bad. They're better than Pop-Tarts, in my opinion. When she comes home, I'm going to have to change my diet and, and start getting things right. The food in here is basically for Liam and I surviving before she got home. So it's not the healthiest stuff. I just hope she doesn't expect me to eat as little as she eats. <laughs> That's all we gotta do is just keep our hopes up and... Damn, look at this guy. He's so horny he can't see straight. It's been five years. He's get, wait, ready to get to brass tacks. It's time to go to freaking pound town. Just keep plowing forward. I'm gonna wait till coming. manage that I think I lost like 82 pounds in the first three months and I was still drinking sweet tea like I was still not all the way in and, and that it just falls off you like literally it's impossible not to granted I was barely eating and I was dizzy as hell all the time but I was dropping weight you know pudding and dinner yeah it's your dinner time can make all she does have a diet what is it 
bariatric soft diet, 1,200 calories. Why am I on a soft diet? That's the orders that he... Well, he needs to get his poop in a group, Ross. I'm going to order something. This is so stupid. I got to find out why my diet is this diet. No one... Hell no, you did not just have weight loss surgery to say you're going to friggin' grub hub some shit if they don't bring you a pizza now. I thought you're trying to do this for your kid, right? Somebody needs to smack some sense into this lady. She does live down the street from me. I can go do it. Someone told me I had to lose weight when I got here. I'm very concerned about Penny's behavior. She's not losing weight anymore. She's being given the right diet. There is no reason why she shouldn't lose more weight while she's in the hospital. Penny must have somebody sneaking her food. She figured out how to manipulate the system. Penny, how are you? How many times are you eating? Three times a day. Are you able to finish the whole thing you're eating? A or? meal? Mm -hmm. No. The like... less you eat, the better it is. Yeah, so this lady's just magically intaking those air calories. Them shits will catch up with you, I tell you. I'm like five or six but plates. The miracle right are now. happening that you haven't lost any weight. No, the... I've definitely lost Ooh, weight. Get well, her. Let's check your stomach, okay? Keep in there. Oh, you don't want to get Penny, out, though. Really, your belly doesn't look like I ain't, you have lost anything. Oh, my God. I used to have a wad like this to take my needles, and now it's this. Penny not really making the changes that we wanted to make psychologically and cooperate and become a person that wants to get well. Let She's in such denial. Like, like the 40 pounds she lost before surgery, great. But I don't think she really friggin' wants it at all. It should be so easy after surgery. Like, it's literally right there for you to take. You just gotta take it. Like, but she just is happy laying in that bed, zonked out or whatever. She looks like she's feeling pretty good, if you know what I mean, but. Nightgown. Uh, no, no, it goes no, all the way I don't need to look at your nightgown. Down. You can get up and stand up on a scale. We can check your weight. I can't stand today, honestly. And not I'm today? Too weak. Okay. Yeah, I'm just too weak. Okay. I'm concerned that Penny convinced herself that she's permanently disabled. Okay? I'm not sure we're going to be able to help her. You know, this lady might be why they started all that therapy stuff before surgery, because her mental is all effed up. Like, she really needs some help. She shouldn't have been approved at all, because she's a risk to the doctor now. Like, she could eat, tear those staples. She's just screwing his whole shit up. Like... Penny. Hi. Penny is not making any more progress. There is no benefit for her to be here. Hopefully... Which basically sending her home. is like telling all the people that gave money or invested in her, they just wasted that shit. You might as well just call that like some friggin' like Ponzi scheme for weight loss. I don't know. Thing will change after you get back home. Change of environment may be a positive for her. Are you excited going home today? I'm ready to go home today. All right. Like Did that. I give you the booklet about diet? Yeah, I have it in my folder. If you have any... <laughs> you might as well burn that shit. She ain't reading that. What are you thinking? Probably you call us. Yeah. Even three o'clock at night. Okay. Penny is going to have to make some changes when she go home. If she has any chance to succeed, she need to be mobile. Damn. I mean, I know they say thick thighs save lives, but them suckers is crazy. I'm going to lose the weight. It's over and done. I just need to be home with my family. One, okay, ready. two, three. I can't believe I'm finally getting to go home. I missed being with Ed and Liam so much. <laughs> that one guy fell on the piss mattress. You better go take a shower, buddy. Voila. I didn't expect to be cordoned off like I was in a cage. That I wouldn't have the piece in front of the TV. Which piece? The one you just pulled out. I didn't expect to be doing this. 
I need this to move closer. What do you want me to do first? I just asked you to do something. I know. I, I was doing that. Well, you're standing here, and I don't think that constitutes really as a job or a task. We'll worry about it. I later. wanted to get my bag and start getting stuff out because I need to get my punch. Man, this is when I say, y'all have to come take her back. I don't want her box here. But this guy, he's like just her freaking punching bag at this point. This poor guy. He's been deprived. I'm glad to be home. I think she beats him. You will have no shortage of people telling you what you need to do. The bottom line is the only one that's going to know what works best for you is you. Or maybe the doctor who saved like hundreds of friggin' super morbidly obese people. He might have a friggin' clue, lady. I don't like this woman. All right, let's get this puppy moving. How are you doing? Holy shit! Today was shit. my first day with Penny. Uh, I worked with quite a few bariatric patients. I can't say that I worked with someone of her. How'd they get a friggin' NBA player? We got the white mamba walking in here. Size. We'll see what we can get through today. Obviously, our, you know, our first major goal is getting you sitting up on the edge of the bed. Let's get started. Let's just kind of warm everything up. Let's do some of your ankle pumps. <sighs> Swim, fishy. I'm just not able to get up. I just can't do it. <laughs> I just know my limitations. Just see if you can push down to my hand. You can get that heel up. Even even just take pressure off my hand. I just did. <laughs> it could be a very long time before I am able to walk. What about side line? Laying on my side, my oxygen gets wonky really fast. I think she just likes being able to say, like, I can't do anything. So everyone has to do it for her. Because she's making zero friggin' effort. It's really sad to see somebody that just doesn't want to put any effort for it, and has a little kid. Like, it's kind of ticking me off a lot. You know, there's, there's always some excuse. I'm not so sure she's going to push herself all the way, so she's going to require someone to kind of give her a kick in the bottom. It's just going to take some time to figure out what motivates her. Today was just the first day of exercise, so kind of light start to everything. We got a lot more that we want to accomplish. You know what to do, you just got to do it. We got a lot of work to do with her. She's strong-willed. <laughs> what a bull... She ain't that damn strong-willed. She's just strong-willed when it comes to them damn onion rings. That's about it. Dang. You really don't need someone telling you right after surgery what you can and can't do. I can... How the hell are you going to eat three pounds of meat in that stomach? Like, this woman is just going wild. I don't know how she hadn't ripped the damn staples. I wonder if any of this is for them or this is all her. Well, that's crazy. Pretty much look at food and calculate exactly what the calories are. I know the percentages from fat I should be having. You have okay. to make the decision. Okay, calorie wizard, how much was in that sauce? Because I'm going to bet that was about four or five hundred worth of sauce right there decisions for yourself you know the thing is is i there really wasn't a diet like given to us or to me i'm waiting for the food all right i need to get something in me and i feel like i'm dropping all my sugar there's really only so many popsicles and soups and cream of wheat you can take before you're done how the hell is she eating all that i i still don't think i can eat all that and i'm like what, like 22 months out of surgery? I still can't stomach that much. This chick's friggin' insane. That's it. Mm. Oh, shocker. I cannot function without wontons. They're not the best thing for me. Doctor is out and it's gonna be like, why is she eating that? But I can eat all of this by myself. And Already? What the freaking hell is this woman? How is that possible? Look at this guy. He's seeing his freaking dreams just flush down the toilet in front of him. 
he thought he was going to get to friggin' making the beast with two backs again, and he ain't going to get to do it. He's depressed. Look at him. He's upset. It wouldn't be as detrimental to me as not eating. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, because I'm not a doctor. But the deep frying, I felt that was healthier than us ordering out. You, oh my god. And she's got a whole pot of mac and cheese and about a dozen friggin' wontons. How the hell? She's gonna gain back every pound she lost in the hospital. That's impressive. Like, I thought that was impossible after surgery. Jesus. Hello. Baby. Yeah, this is Dr. Osaka. Hi. How are you? I'm not doing too good today. Well, you haven't been able to come to office because you can get to the wheelchair and all those things, right? Right. Right, because she's still in Houston at this point. She's not back in Maryland. Ooh, doctor now, you should go get her. Bonk. I'd love to see that. How about we get you go to our hospital so we can uh, check out everything and see what's going on with that? Yeah, that's what I thought would be a potential second step. Why don't we do it today? Okay. Okay, bye. Ready? One, two, three. I have spent the last six months. <laughs> she ate wontons and turned into a wonton. That's impressive. I'm giving it all I have to lose weight and have been successful in losing weight. Did you guys put me over your head so I can pretend I'm clear bathroom? <laughs> I would like the scale to be lower than last time because that's my goal every time I step on it. I should be in the neighborhood of having lost about. 340 pounds. Oh, Christ's sake, this woman's in denial. You'd be damn Cleopatra if you lost that much. You'd be 190 pounds if you lost that. And she thinks she's there. Ooh, denial is not just a river in Egypt. Apparently it's in her damn head. So, for the past few months, we haven't been able to... Take a look at you. So yeah. what's going on with you? I'm doing good. Ooh, 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 I'm excited. Lots of nice new hanging skin it's everywhere. Well, hanging skin is not a problem. What is your weight doing? Well, I haven't been able to be weighed. How yet. come? That's not hanging skin. That's fat. Mine is starting to be hanging skin. Yours is fat. I have a scale. Mm. You been up walking around? No, not yet. We weigh you right now, and you see how much you lost. Very good. I just need to hold on to the front. Oh, shit. She gained five pounds. Damn. It's all in her ass. You can see that. That shit's crazy. How's it flat? Jenny, so you haven't lost any weight. You gained weight since the surgery. Okay, you should be right now walking. You should be around 250 pounds. I feel that the scales were wrong in the beginning and that I weighed more than what that was. I've been putting it all out there. Look, Penny, quit crying because this is for your benefit, okay? You know how many people like it? Look, even Dr. Now back at the start of the show was not about the games, but she just, no effort at all. I don't think I've seen anyone try less than her. Which is sad, because she has a little kid. And there's not even anything to say. The friggin' scale gremlins took the pounds. I don't know, or added the pounds. Whatever happened. She you guys signed the death certificate, and later on I thought, what could I have done to get across to them? And I'm not getting across to you either. There has been change. Look, I mean, it's hanging off my shoulder. You, you, you just trying to convince yourself, okay? Whatever so you say. So you can't convince yourself that your sleeves come past your hands now, and they never did that. Penny. I can reach my vagina and clean it myself. I could. 
Ooh, she said she can paddle that pink canoe now. Audition for the finger puppet show. She going to town on herself. Pamper yourself, girl. Treat yourself. <laughs> Couldn't do that six months ago. What do you say? It really make no sense, okay? And then I'm going to have to just go home where I can try and get uh, something yeah, else. I, I don't think this conversation is getting anywhere. <laughs> it's your life and I'm your not, decision. I'm... <laughs> I've never heard the argument, I lost weight, I can reach my hoo-ha. That's a good one, man. I'm going to use that. There's no way you gain weight from surgery to now. Shut up. I think there's, I was misweight no in the beginning. There's no way. Penny has been at home for several months. She gained weight, and she doesn't like to see what the scale is showing her. So now I don't know how long I'm going to be stuck in Texas. Maybe I'm not going to be successful unless I'm out. Well, you could stay the hell in Texas. Maryland don't want you back. We let them have you. Texas, she's your damn problem now. Oh, I know there's no way. <sighs> we took a bunch to the gut. We got to shake it all. So it became and, over. And together, no, it's not game over. That's what he's talking about. Well, he might have pushed me to that point. Baby. I think you're eating a little bit because I eat so much, a lot would look like a little bit to me. I don't think I'm getting much across the penny at this point. I think the penny is her worst enemy and her husband is second worst enemy than she. Look, buddy, I'm gonna need you to start eating more and putting a little less on her plate because just handing her the damn pot of macaroni and cheese is not a weight loss strategy. Friggin' a dozen wontons, not a weight loss strategy. Portion control is the biggest thing that surgery taught me. Now I know what I actually should eat as a serving. It's kind of crazy. God, and they don't realize that this is the dangerous game she playing. You're hungry. Let me get you some ice cream. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> seen people we need to get rid of this man at all costs. Look, Texas, Y'all find him, do what you do with him. Everything's bigger in Texas anyway. You can have Ding Dong Daddy and the friggin' Meatloaf Queen. You can have her. She's yours. We don't want her. But like Penny, they play this kind of game, and one day I get the notice to sign their death certificate. Two, three. I feel defeated. I just want, I just want to go home. All right, let's see what's going on. <laughs> when Dr. Nazaldin came in and said, you know, oh, you're not doing this right because you haven't lost the weight I expected. And the reason that what he said. Hey, that's a little better than damn onion rings. That's right, let's bake some chicken. But she's still in that bed, so you know she ain't lost nothing. And what's so impactful to me is it took me by, like, surprise. I think that day in the hospital was harder than the day I left Maryland. What? And it's made me think about things a little differently. And the bad news is we're having this all for dinner tomorrow, guys. Penny's attitude has changed. Okay, she's eating healthy. I would hope that's not just for the cameras. This guy should be getting all excited. So he looks like that guy from the Goonies, don't he? Kinda. Considerably. She's doing good with the diet, and, and I'm getting better with the diet. It's a lot harder than I expected. One of my goals is to go to Liam's kindergarten graduation. I want to be the mother for Liam that I've always dreamed of. Hello. Hey, the white mamba's back. Since we've been home from the hospital, she's done a lot better. She's trying. Look, her trying's all you can really friggin' ask for. The problem is she never put forth any effort. 
But with her little boy graduating, you'd think she wants to freaking be there. It's just, it's a mess, man. I don't think this attitude will stay up long enough for her to actually continue. I hope it does, because I want to see everyone succeed, but I don't buy it. And a lot more through her pain. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> You're good. Damn. Would y'all look at that fussy? We found the elusive Badussy. You're doing good. I'm just straightening my knee. It's been years since I could walk. I'm ready to get out of this bed. You're doing good. You really are. I'm hot. Yes, you are. <laughs> Liam! Back up and let me take a picture of you. Look at me. Give me, give me that smile. Today's Liam's graduation for kindergarten. She's probably laid in that bed so long, it probably would be pretty damn hard for her to walk, but I don't think she's ever actually gave it a go or had a try. It's hard because I'd be leaving to go see the award ceremony and, and I'll be here. But you bring me home an award and some pictures, okay? Oh, I. Who loves you? You. Liam, go get one and wait. It's hard not to be there, but it's even harder when I say, I'm sorry I can't be there today. And he's like, oh, it's okay. Because it's what he expects now. He knows you can't be there. Which as it gets, he gets older, will be harder and harder because you'll realize he's the only one without his mom there. So you better get your Bonk. gear, lady. This is like ridiculous. I never want anyone to discount, well, you didn't get to do these things with your son because the things that I've done with my son on a regular daily basis probably exceed what regular moms get to do that have to go out in the workforce. Still. In what friggin' universe does playing Lay on the Piss Mat be like Mom of the Year award? What? Oh, there's things that all moms miss, but I'll be at his next event. I know I will. I'm not convinced. You only get out of life what you put into it, and in the end, your failure or your success is up to you. True. Yeah, they messed up my food. I should have had a chicken and cheese steak and it's regular meat. Oh sh Bonk. They snuck the red meat in again. You absolutely didn't do that on friggin' purpose. Look at that dog too. He knows if something hits the floor, it's his. Cause once you're that big, something falls on the floor, the floor owns it now. It's not yours anymore. It's the floor's property at that point. I'm like, they didn't hardly really put any lettuce on it either. I think I was told by the doctor I failed because I didn't meet what goal he wanted, but I didn't have the appropriate tools given to me. Come in! Yeah, a lot of good that'll do after she just pound a cheesesteak on a stomach that's supposed to fit a boiled egg. Like, her shit's already stretched all the way back out. It has to be. Hi. Today I'm here to see Miss Sager. We want to explore some of her nutritional habits and see if there's some ways that perhaps we can help her to be a little more successful than she's been to this point. Dr. Nelson asked me to come meet with you. Right. And so what I want to do first is get a little history. What was your motivation for seeking out surgery? Did you I'm sorry, and don't you can take this route if you want, but I find that to be an asinine question. Okay. Um, so, like, the motivation is obviously to lose weight and regain what it's, it's, it's to get back whatever you have. Look, people find motivation in different places. Yours could be going to your son's friggin', like, graduation. Mine could be wanting to clap cheeks better, which is why I friggin' lost the weight. That's all I wanted. Clap cheeks better, I wanted kids. 
shoot up the club all I can. That was my reason to lose weight. Not hard to figure out. Had because of it. Or do you have goals of nope. having certain, meeting certain nope. expectations that you Absolutely may have? Absolutely not. Will not do about. that. Will not do that. Um, it's a way for people to very easily get comfortable, sit on their laurels, and not achieve to their best ability. You want to check the fridge first? While you're in there, she can help you clean it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got the ham, we got corn and potatoes, coleslaw. Uh, eggs, uh, and then that's the pie the for pie. Thanksgiving. What what do we have here? Uh, she what made cupcakes. Oh, sh**. She hid the cupcakes. This lady's like the hamburglar, but with cupcakes. For Liam. Lee, my son, he's not a candy eater, a cookie eater. He's got, like, set things that... No, I am a cookie eater. He gets a bedtime snack and one snack a day. So we have some cereals here. They're in there trying to make him them throw away your cereal. Mommy said not till you're 18 that you are gonna have all the cereal you want. You wanna Oh my god, she's so worried about them taking them friggin' lucky charms and fruit loops that she ain't gonna have it. It's all for him. She's gonna blame you, buddy. You're the sugar demon. She's not touching any of that stuff, right? I have nutrient dense foods on hand. You want foods that give you vitamins and protein and, and give you fiber. I know what's in there is not good. I think maybe I made a bigger impact with Edgar than perhaps Penny. I think he maybe now has some better knowledge about what to look for at the grocery store. Egg whites are great protein. Think of produce, Egg vegetables, not, not fruits. Yolks. I'm not eating just whites. I hate just whites. I'm I do too, but you gotta do what you gotta do, lady. Come on, you're not losing any weight after surgery. You gotta get serious about this. I'm hoping, if anything, that, that he gets a benefit, that he can make better choices at the store now. Oh, so what you think? I think it was a bunch of <laughs> This is so stupid. <laughs> Shocker. You hold my under this arm. Like, here, here. just, that's right what here. I, yep, that's right. what I need. That's all they're doing when I'm doing therapy. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, how is she managing the set still after surgery? That's crazy. It's actually kind of friggin' impressive. I'm tired. My knees hurt. Honey, you want us to help you get back into bed now? <laughs> okay, Benny. Hey, really, I try everything. I, know. I don't know how I'm going to get across to you. It's very difficult living in a world where I've given you my life and put you as my earthly God, and that's what I mean. But, you know, I no matter what you say. Dr. Now is God to fat people. He's saving lives out here. You don't want to get on board. We'll just toss you back the ark. You can stay where the hell you are. You, he don't need, need to help you. He's trying to help you. The truth is in this guy. Right? I know, I know. Okay. Penny lives in a false reality, and she chooses to overeat. Uh, she does not admit it. The people that I operated at the same time I did your surgery, today they're 250 pounds. Right. I'm feeling like I've just been sucker punched again. Why didn't this do what it's supposed to do, what I'm doing, what I'm supposed to do? Where's my... Where's my because you're still eating friggin' wontons. Come on, lady. You are the biggest denial case I've ever seen. I'm, I was in denial about how bad I was eating, but I knew when I had to do something. You're just like totally blameless somehow. My yellow brick road, why didn't I get it? Because I'm working hard, Dr. Nizam, and I'm being good. Penny has to want to lose weight, and she has to want to be able to walk. If she apply herself, she has a good chances as anybody else. But I don't see any willingness to want to get well. I don't have it in me to go any further. But so my mind is just tired. All right. Okay. I can't do this, and I need to go home. 
I don't know what she's so tired from. She didn't do anything but lay in friggin' bed. Maybe mush some meatloaf. It's not like she was doing any damn cardio. Unless Ding Dong Daddy was sliding in there, and I don't know it, getting some of that bedroom cardio. But no, he said it'd been five years. Nope, no shot. She didn't do a damn thing. I have family and support, and that would mean uh, the end on this whole process. Maybe it's time for me to go home. <gasps> Lord, we thank you for the food that we're about to receive, and we definitely thank you for all the good luck that you've given us this year. Why'd you need, like, half the friggin' chicken coop? That's a lot of damn food. A lot of eggs. That's a lot of deviled eggs are good, but that's a lot of food. Who's gonna eat all that? Her. But she shouldn't. Especially with penny surgery. No, you guys keep her. Even if I'm not successful in the world's eyes, the fact that I did all of this so far changed my path in life forever. And I don't ever have to be an ideal weight in Liam's eyes because... No, you have to be a healthier weight. You're not going to make it to see his 18th birthday. Not eating the way you are, lady. This is denial at best. And if at worst, it's something like crazier than that. This is like waiting to die. He's seen what I'm willing to do for him. And he's proud of me. I like the little crispy. One. At this point, I don't think Penny has any intention to change anything in her lifestyle. No, she's not going to change. She's going to sit there and eat all she can and just scream that the world is doing her wrong and she doesn't have to do anything to try. The, the surgery is a tool, lady. You had every chance. This was a golden friggin' opportunity. And that's how I looked at it. Like, this is my shot to take my life back. And I've been working at it. I'm still working at it. It's not a miracle fix. But this lady and Ding Dong Daddy are just friggin' nuts. But... That's all I could say. We should have left her in Texas, but take her easy. And if she's easy, take her twice. Bye.